I've never been upset about what happened in 2006. Uh, Michigan had a chance on the field against Ohio State. It was a great game, but putting myself in the in the shoes of Florida, I didn't do. I have the same exact record. I won arguably what was it, that year arguably the best conference in America, and Michigan had their crack, and so they get another one. I, I mean, if I were in if I was a Florida fan, I. I, I would be strongly in favor of those arguments. So the only reason I would have felt that 2006 we got robbed is just if I was a homer. And you know me, I'm just, I suck at being a homer. I just, I like truth too much. 1997 though is what bothers me. And it doesn't bother me that we shared it with Nebraska. Both those teams, I mean, if they had played that year, it had been like the Ohio, the year Ohio State and Miami played, like 40 guys played NFL rosters. The amount of pros on those two teams was crazy. Okay, and I, I really don't think running a tight formation spread off spread. I'm sorry, a tight formation option attack against that Michigan defense is a recipe for success. But I'm not so sure we're going to sit there in a pro formation and run the ball downhill against that Nebraska front either. I mean, that, that might have looked like that LSU Alabama game when it was what was it, 10 3 or 10 7 nine, or something? Six. Yeah. yeah, 9 7. So thank you. But, uh, what bothers me about it is the way that it happened. If you thought Nebraska was better the whole time, I'm totally okay with it. All right. But I, the, but Phil Fulmer voting us fourth in the coaches poll, which is what gave Nebraska the margin to move up there. There's no argument. I can, I, I can make arguments for why Nebraska. Sorry, Steve, real quick. The Fulmer vote in and of itself pushed yes. Nebraska to one in the coaches yeah. poll. Yeah. That's how they moved to that. one. He voted us fourth. There's no justification for that. None. There's all kinds of just, I can make a nice affirmative case for voting Nebraska number one for that season. I could make it. There's no case for voting us number four. We went into that, into that poll or into that bowl game. Number one in every poll, we beat a top 10 team. You may think it wasn't as impressive as what Nebraska did against Peyton Manning. And I'm okay if you think that, but fourth, no reason for that. And, so uh, Phil, and, and, and you have to and, wonder uh, whether Philip Fulmer was confused that them getting beat down by Nebraska is a reflection on how good a team Michigan is. There's I, a lot I don't of talk that, that was basically revenge for Woodson getting the Heisman, is what a lot of people believe. I don't know if that's true or not, but sure. that to me, okay. that to me, and the idea of let's give it to Tom Osborne because he was retiring. Do, let me put it to you this way: If Osborne wasn't retiring, does Nebraska share the championship that year? Because I think the answer is no. What do you think? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I know that it's impossible. I know that if I know that the fair outcome was for them to split a national championship. They both played in power leagues, played great dominant football. They both had a couple of close calls, etc. I've looked at it enough to know that the outcome was fair based on that system. Now, of course, we wanted to see the two teams play, but if I was sitting there with a vote and I had to select Nebraska or Michigan then I'd really have to grind it down. Then there's been other years. 1993 never made any sense to me. I've I've always been a big believer. If you play a team and you beat them on the field and have the same or better record at the end of the year, when it's all played out, you should be ranked ahead of them. Okay. So Notre Dame beat Florida state on the field. They have the same record and, 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 and somehow Florida state's the national champion. That never has made sense to me. Um, didn't the same thing happen though in, in 1989, if I remember right, right? No. Yeah. Uh, because you had Miami, no, cause Miami did beat Notre Dame that year. Yeah. And that was Holtz's they argument. I remember in 93 he said, Hey, in 89, we had the same record as Miami at the end of the year. We beat number one Colorado in the bowl game, but y'all told me that Miami's the national champion because they beat us on the field. And now why doesn't the same thing apply to us in 1993? He was exactly right about that. Absolutely. Yeah. I just think the entirety of college football history in regards to who's been voted number one, BCS number one versus two, there's just a whole lot that needs to be uncovered there and figured out. Uh, And, you know, I've got seasons, Stephen, where I've run through the national championships uh, over the last hundred years. And I have said, you know, we've got five national champions for this particular season because there's no other way to slice it uh, to be to be fair. All right. Yeah. Steve Dace, Michigan podcast. Got to get on over there, whether that's on YouTube or your favorite audio platform. Steve, always learn a lot and appreciate the college football conversation, sir. You got it, brother. Go blue. Take care.